We are in that building right next to McDonald's. Charlotte's office and my office are right next to, get, uh, next to each other, and we work very closely together, and we can collaborate to help you have an experience that most communities cannot provide the students that, uh, that go to school in their, in their particular town. So thank you for um, being part of an exciting thing here at St. Lawrence University. <laughs> my uh, challenge to you is come down and be a part of a great community as well. Thank you. Now we'd like to move to some questions and really open up this discussion. What do students want, or what can the town provide? I'm probably the wrong person to answer that question because we love them. Uh, we, you know. I, I, People say, why do you live on Park Street? Well, it's real simple. We like the vibrancy that we get. We like the enthusiasm. And um, we have never had, I live, for those of you who don't know, I live between Cuslatina and the outhouse. And um, <laughs> when, whenever I have problems with the noise, I just walk next door and say, guys, would you knock the sound down? And they say, oh, yeah, OK. So you know, I, I live in a college community because I want that experience. So, um, and you know, a lot of the people in administration say, oh, we don't want to put people downtown, and we don't want more theme houses because it's going to antagonize the people in the community. Um, speaking for the town of Canton, bring them on. <laughs> I guess I'll just add that I'm sure you're all aware there's been both positive and negative in the history of fraternities. I suspect if there is a, a regeneration of fraternities, it'll be done pretty carefully and thoughtfully. And my own experience with students has been very similar to David's. Yes, they do party much later than I do, and I'm an early to bed, early to rise sort of person, but invariably when I've gone over and asked them to turn it down a little bit, I have not had any problem. Um, we are eager to have more interaction between students and the community, and um, I guess I, I, I'm not sure I'd go as far as say bring them on, but I, I think that we are very interested in having more students live off campus, and I did know that was a possibility. And as a mayor, I'm looking at it from trying to make sure that the houses they live in um, are, are safe houses, that they've passed a rental inspection. But that's, I, I get immersed in the technicalities because I find it all fascinating. But, I think in general the answer is yes, we are We're very receptive to the idea. All right, great. Um, my question is um, concerning one of the things that at least I, I see as a more contentious issue between the town and the university is um, the number of uh, miscellaneous uh, tickets that, are, that students acquire um, through just walk, like, um, walking downtown uh, later at night. Um, <laughs> Um, what, what, what's your feeling? Throwing beer bottles in my front yard. That's right. Okay. Um, okay. Are these an open container you're talking about? Uh, yeah, miscellaneous like tickets or. Um, open containers. Uh, all right, open containers. Uh, Public sure. urination. Um, <laughs> all right, I'm just curious as what to, what your reaction to that is because I I I, view, I see that as one of the like the biggest. Um, Things that that, stu that students are at least upset about um, is the constant constant like monitoring of uh, tickets. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Well, I, I I'll try to answer that. Um, I have a lot of respect for our police department, um, particularly the night shift. See people at their worst. Um, it, often they're drunk and difficult to handle. Um, I think our police department, in contrast to the county sheriff's department or the state troopers, really do make an effort to defuse situations as opposed to moving quickly to enforce the letter of the law to make arrests. I, I, I think they overall do a very good job. Um, 
I don't know all the specific circumstances, obviously, of students getting open container tickets and public urination tickets, um, whatever else you're referring to, disorderly conduct. Um, but, and there, there may have been times when tickets were issued too freely. But I think in general, our police department does a really good job. So I'll come to their defense and. Other question? Um, if you had to list, or yeah, if you had to list like the three top things that you think, or the three top aspects of Canton that you think St. Lawrence students are failing to take advantage of, what would they be? I think it would be the things we talked about. Um, I think we have some neat restaurants um, that students might not even know about. Um, I'd really like them to explore Canton a little more, check out Tawny Traditional Arts of Upstate New York, check out our, we don't have a lot of retail stores, but check out the stores that we do have. Um, take advantage of internship and volunteer activities. Get to know people in the community. Get involved in the community. It'll enrich your experience and it'll enrich us. And, and I would just echo those sentiments. I think that you can be a game changer in a community this size and you can do things that positively impact the world um, by doing them right here at home. Who was it that said, um, uh, uh, think globally, act locally. Um, we, we can give you those opportunities and, um, and, and, and in so engaging yourself that way, impact a, a little bit of the microcosm and uh, really walk away with some uh, experiences that you can use in an effective way at a bigger stage, bigger level.